I'm glad you're here. Here we have another example, and it is a square root equation. Our variable is hidden under the root. So in order to extract this variable, we are going to first isolate the square root and raise both sides to the second power. Here we go, subtracting 5 from both sides. We have square root 2x plus 1 equals negative 5. Now let's make an observation. The number under the square root should be non-negative. We also have positive square root. You see there is no negative 1 in front of it, like negative 1 times or negative 2 times. It's just a positive square root and the number underneath should be non-negative. So we have non-negative number on the, on the left hand side and here it is equal to negative 5. We see that it is a false statement and this false statement should should lead to no solution. No solution. So this equation has no solution. There is no number that we can substitute for x in no, that will make this equation true. Well, let's say we did not make this observation. We have the steps to follow. We'll say, okay, we didn't make this observation. We're going to follow the steps. Okay, we'll say, okay, let's see what happens. So what we have. The next step, we isolated the, the isolated the square root. In order to extract the variable, we're going to raise both sides to the second power in order to ex extract this expression underneath. So we have 2x plus 1. And look, see what's happening. We have a negative number raising to even power. You see, even power. Negative number raised into the even power will produce positive number. So we have positive 25. You see from this false statement, we made a true statement. We made ourselves an equation. We say, okay, we made the equation. Let's go and solve it. We're still following the steps. Okay. Subtracting negative 1 from both sides, we have 2x equals 24. Right? Dividing both sides by 2, x equals 12. Okay. We got ourselves a possible solution. And following the steps, the last step says we must check all the solutions. We say, okay, we're going to plug it in. We're going to take 12 and plug it in for x and see what happens. Okay, plug it in for x. Let's go. What do we have? 2 times 12 plus 1 plus 5 is it 0. This is 24, 24 plus 1, square root of 25 plus 5, is it 0? Mm, doesn't look so. Square root of 25 is 5, 5 plus 5 is definitely not 0. So this, this possible solution does not check out. It means we have no solution, no solution. You see, whether we made an observation in the beginning or whether we followed the steps, so all the steps till the very end, and we must check the solutions. We see we still produce the correct answer, which is no solution. So anyway, here was an example with, of the equation with no solution. I hope this is helpful, and make sure you follow the steps, and I, I'll see you next time.